need to keep in mind when we are preparing our manuscripts. Lacking significance and novelty, I uh, told you about this using old theories, models from 70s, 80s, or 90s. Actually, you can use old theories. Okay, you you it is absolutely okay to use a theory developed in 70s or 80s, but don't use uh, research gaps or research questions that were talked about in papers in 70s, 80s, or uh, 90s. Picking overly research topics, I gave you this uh, example of leadership and performance. If th these are ideas that have been researched a lot, so you will have to think about something new. Even if you are picking up this topic, you've got to really think about some uh, different question related to leadership. I gave you example of uh, India you've got to make a case that I want to understand how leadership exists or exhibits itself in the Indian context, making theoretical arguments why and how India is different from other countries and, and so on, right? So don't pick up overly research topics, think about something which has not been done and may be useful to do. Justifying contributions simply by saying the topic has not been sufficiently studied in India. That's an important point. Coming from India, remember, we will not get our papers published if we just say that, see, this has not been done in India, so I'm going to do it. That is not enough. You've got to explain properly why do you think what happens in other parts of the world does not happen in India. How is Indian context, Indian culture different from India? How will these uh, differences in Indian culture impact the relationships that you are studying? How will it impact the kind of variables that you are picking up in your study just saying that it has not been done in india so my work is important that does not qualify for a significant contribution nobody will accept it reviewers will come back to you say and say that this is uh, this is not enough lacking grounding 